Welcome everybody to this video. Today we are going to be looking at how you can properly clean and store an inflatable kayak. I am not a kayak expert, nor is this a kayak channel. This is a do-it-yourself channel if you're just stopping by. But we're going to be uh, taking care of this. This is something I got into recently, a uh, hobby of mine. And I figured a thing or two out in terms of how to properly clean it and store it. It's not rocket science at all. Anyway, if it's your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I do lots of do-it-yourself projects around the house and the occasional product review, making your place a better space is the idea. Anyway, we have our inflatable kayak here. I will put a link down below in the description for basically anything you see in this video. I like to include tools and supplies for the uh, whatever I include in the video. So check that out if you want to, including this awesome little travel case because nobody likes lugging a 50 pound uh, inflatable kayak from your car to the dock. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna get this thing back home. You just saw me kind of deflate it there, put it back in the bag, you lug it home, right? And what do you do? Cause your kayak's gonna be wet, right? Uh, and you don't want to just fold it up and keep it in the bag. It's going to develop mold and mildew. So we're going to take a little Dawn soap, soft bristled brush. And I assume it's a hot day already out if you're kayaking. Maybe that's not true. But in any case, try to wait for a hot day or maybe go into your garage where it's covered, right? And go ahead and unfold it. You can see here we've got water droplets. Again, if you put it away like this, the next time you open it up, whether it's uh, you know a few days or a few weeks, it's going to be kind of nasty. You don't want to store anything wet. I mean, look at that. It's definitely the bottom and then probably the inside. So that's what we're going to be addressing here. So I'm going to get it all unfolded out in the backyard and the grass under that hot sun. And I'm also going to take an opportunity to make sure the bag in which the kayak is actually stored is also open and receiving that hot sun, right? and any of the accessory materials or accessory items that come with your kayak for example your seat make sure those are because those will, may have gotten wet as well right and after the bottom is kind of uh that rugged bottom is pretty much dry then we'll flip it over and we'll start to look at the inside, inspecting it for water and also dirt, right? Now this particular kayak has uh, an inflatable floor that's separate. And so we can go ahead and just remove that. It just pulls right out. It's super easy. And you can see where your feet are collecting mud and, you know, just maybe you uh, stepped in a bunch of mud and you got in your kayak, right? Like that all needs to go. So a soft bristled brush in your Dawn soap and lukewarm water. And you'll just hand scrub it like this. Now, some of that dirt might actually be kind of infused into that material a little bit. So just get it as wet as possible and give it a, you know, several. You can even soak it a little bit, kind of form it in a way that kind of collects water and pools it and let it soak for a couple of minutes. But for the most part, this is what I do. I just gently brush it down. Um, make sure you so your soft bristle brush doesn't puncture anything right and it doesn't have to be perfect guys it doesn't have to be perfect um, but we want to get most of that dirt grime and stuff off we don't have to grit our teeth or anything scrub 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 you know uh, this is what we want to do here so you can also turn the the brush in this direction for a little extra rigor uh, that will help get some of those more stubborn stains off and we will do that and you can see there's some water droplets on the inside as well. Probably from my oars coming up. And even though they have those little drip guards on them, you still take in a little bit of water. And so we're going to be looking to make sure that's not pooled anywhere. Uh, kind of looking underneath the actual chambers along the vinyl floor and the ends. You can unzip the top if you need to. Kind of poke your head down there, reach back there, and feel for any water droplets or pooling water, right? Uh, you can get a towel out and wipe them down and just let it sit under the sun. This is my process. I do this every single time post-use. And when the floor is all dry, obviously I'll do the, the top or the, the bottom, the underside as well. Uh, scrubbing both sides, the top more than the underside. But I definitely want to make sure that it's all dry. And then I'll kind of put it back in there. Uh, another another alternative is to use a hoist system if you want to do DIY your own or buy one of those like garage 
hoist systems on Amazon. They're uh, pretty affordable, I think, 25 bucks or so, and you could actually uh, figure out a way to hoist this up to let it kind of air dry. So if you live like in a rainy area or something, that might help. Uh, but anyway, this is what uh, the process is here. So clean, dry, and then we'll fold it back up and put it back in the bag as the instructions indicate. This particular one folds like this. A little bit of water left on that outside, probably from the grass, so let that dry for a couple more minutes if you need to. And then you can put it back in the bag. If you have this particular kayak, the bag, or maybe this helps in it with, with any kayak, kayak that you may have, try to put the bag on over the top as opposed to lift up the kayak and put it in the bag. I found that to be um, a lot easier to do, especially getting it around that first those first uh, corners, so to speak. It just slides right down from there. And then you can put your seats back in. Once those are all dry, I'll lug this thing back up here. There are the seats. This particular one has two seats. It's a convertible tandem. But I like to make sure both of them are dry. And then this little guy that kind of fits in Velcro's behind that first seat. And I put them in like that. They are completely dry, clean. And that is how I do it. Now, as far as storage, I don't know. You could probably keep it in your garage, but my garage gets pretty hot. Um, I don't want this to be uh, subject to the extreme heat or humidity and other weather conditions from the garage, certainly not freezing temperatures in the winter. So I actually keep this in the house just like this, um, not in view, obviously, but like in the basement where the temperature is relatively stable. And that is how I properly clean and store my inflatable kayak. Hopefully this video has helped you. Don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos like this. Thanks.